Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, as you can literally guess, I'm right by the title. I do have a brand new phone. I got the iPhone 6. There was um, the iPhone 6S and the 6 Plus. That was just way too expensive at Annabelle an League. So I just got the um, iPhone 6. Um, on the website, it retailed for about $935. But lady bought it the price off on her um, work phone. I presume it was. Um, it came up at seven hundred something dollars, so I managed to spend myself three hundred extra dollars. So far, this is obviously what the phone looks like. I'm sure we all know what the iPhone six looks like. The same way buttons on the side, so muscle memory. I keep going like this, but I'm gonna get in front of like this now. So this is obviously the back of it. It's just, um, I've got the silver one. It's just um, silver, Apple symbol, camera, and then with iPhone written on the back of it. And at the bottom, instead of the home button being pushed in um, by design, it is now sticking out. Well, by a little bit. Um, it costs you a little darker silver ring around it when I press the button. Other than a ton of messages, um, all I have to do is um, it's actually a finger one, so I have to use my thumb. This is my thumb, and it unlocks. So it will only register to my thumb. It sounded that they have a, um, a preference or option or whatever you can add more than one fingerprint scan, but I'm not going to let that happen. <laughs> so on the side is obviously um, the silent button. And the volume control. I think I found pretty awesome um, when I was listening to music last night. Headphones. This will work for any headphones, of course, but bring it up to life. Put the headphones in. A little music note comes up. And I like the, um, the camera icon when you lift it up. It obviously takes you straight to the camera. But with the music note, so I have to um, just unlock it. It goes straight to my music, so I don't have to unlock and jump out of whatever app I was already in and then go back into the music app and then scan through. I mean, it's not the same thing with music, of course, but... So that is pretty awesome. And still getting Instagram messages. Going all the way up to the start of it. Now, I'm on the list of songs, because that's where all my choice songs are. I can choose between um, artists, albums, songs, or genres. Obviously, just choose between either albums or songs, so albums. So far, it's just sadly you two. Obviously, not, not a terrible man, but not my favourite man. I did also have um, Sia on here, but it's resetting my phone to my iTunes account, etc. Um, the only album, because I had on Ring Tones, and you get a free album with it, and I got stuck with you two. When I go out of albums and to songs, I'm always taking back to my playlist. So that is awesome. I don't know if you can see it is for the life of you. I am sorry. <laughs> yeah, so it's getting back out of that. The headphones out now. So as far as apps go, um, obviously we have the um, I have the default apps. So calendar, off. Calendar, photos, camera, maps, weather, wallet, notes, reminders, clock, mail, iTunes store, app store, settings, Safari, iBooks, news, FaceTime, health. And of course at the bottom, messages, phone, contacts, and music. From over on one more page, you have stocks, utilities, which is has um, calculator. Um, Compass and Game Center, podcast, watch, videos, voice memo, which is basically voice recording, Instagram, of course, Snapchat, Facetune, Boomerang, Find Friends, that's another default app, Find iPhone, uh, iMovie, which I download myself, uh, Tips, Twitter, Nav, which is the Nav Australian Bank, which is obviously the bank I am linked in with, it's an Australian bank, hence the Nav Australian, National Australian Bank. <laughs> Uh, Shazam, obviously, from if you hear a song that you really like on the radio, you don't, they haven't mentioned what um, it's called, um, you can Shazam it, or they didn't mention the name of the song before they played it, and um, you hear it and you really like it, and you, don't, you wouldn't know what it's called. I'm sure we all actually know what, how Shazam works. There's obviously ring.tones, um, which is what allows you to um, play your favourite song. It's a ringtone, so when someone calls you, a song will play instead of um, those music notes that uh, phones actually come with. It's of course Google and YouTube. And and as if the pages, um, I did notice that I have um, a flat background. I thought that, I think it's either a default um, background or um, flower. When my phone was reset with my iTunes account, it's definitely um, a flower that I took a picture of. It's actually a candle that I took a picture of um, at a restaurant when it was my sister's birthday. This is obviously what the phone child looks like. Um, oh, I'm just still plastic still in here. This is the adapter which obviously goes into um, a PowerPoint because of some of the um, lightning bolt one so it's small on this end but a lot thicker at this end As far as um, accessories go for it, um, I'm still obviously um, learning about different, all the different um, all the different systems and, um, and the features that it has It like, starts to unlock it and of course I actually put my password in 
or I can just sew up, use my thumb and it will of course take me straight to the home page. I hope I was in front the whole time of the phone. This is about as far as um yeah so it also comes to this page. I've really got to figure out how to switch that off because it's gonna vibrate and ring as well. Hopefully now no more um noises that to make me jump out of my skin because I was doing a makeup tutorial and since look this will be posted on this makeup look will be posted after this video. That's how I have my phone on my the base of my mirror. Um it can vibrate so of course my phone can move it a little bit more closer to me. It also has to switch off Bluetooth. That, um apparently somehow I that just drains a little bit of battery power. I also have sleep mode. So I am of course with Telstra, that is um the Australian um mobile network. This was a pretty um random um pretty random video but um I wanted to um, make a new phone video. I did one years ago from my iPhone 3, I think I had back then. <laughs> um, then I, of course I upgraded to an iPhone 4. I'm not sure I did do videos on buses, but they don't exist anymore, so don't bother looking for them. You know, with a whole new, brand new phone, um, I pretty much almost half the size of my head, of course I had to make a video on it. I am so freaking happy that I have this phone now. You have no idea. My phone was literally turning to a brick. One call was just jacked up, um, in fact. So this is my old phone, I have switched it off, um, I did post a Snapchat about that, but I don't think it, obviously not everybody watching this video will be following on Snapchat, but you know, you should, <laughs> or if you want to, you can, I do not want to be. This is my old phone, black, iPhone 4, running for 3D network, this is my new phone, size difference looks like an inch um, taller, and you know, just a couple of, um, it's a little bit wider in some some ways this is the difference it just basically makes my um old phone if I have a surrounding background this is also what I meant by a jacked up phone cord yeah how could anyone charge anything with this to actually um create some leverage so I had to um, whenever my device um phone was the phone cord was hitting the device I had to actually um push it up like elevate it up to register so one time um, I was charging up my iPad and um my cat was just walking over my bed and my iPad fell off my bed. I didn't think much of it, it happens all the time. Um, which my bed isn't too high up, so I didn't have too far to fall. I put my iPad back up, um, I noticed that um, the cord felt a bit bent, which it got bent. I had to um, shove it back into place, and I thought, you know, it should still be fine. But ever since I went to um, put it back into the um, iPad um, thing, whatever you want to call it, I put it registered, so I thought, um, no, I'm not going to give up now. I'm going to keep on trying to push it down, and eventually I managed to push it back into place, but um, it was just, it just wouldn't register properly, so I had to um, create so much um, weight and leverage and, you know, just somehow fit it back in and it would charge my devices, but it'll, the struggle was just so real. So thank god I got this new phone, so um, I also got this new phone cord, so I also did get a new phone cord um, for my iPad. The iPod also shares the same cord, um, a different one. Um, but yeah, so this is my phone. I am so glad that I got it now. So um, I can now play with all the fun Snapchat filters. Um, I can now do so much more with this phone. I'm obviously still learning about all the features. That's what I was looking for, features. I'm still learning about all the cute, fun features. Um, I'm obviously still getting used to the group of it because it's a lot wider. Um, the keyboard's a lot more stretched out now. So yes. <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. This is a really, really random video. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video, I suppose. And I will see you in my future videos. Bye everyone.